Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually pretty close to my house. I found out last week that I live close to a candy shop that's relatively the same age as the country I'm from, America. It's over 200 something years old. And uh, it's like a five minute walk from my house, so I'm right near it right now. And uh, I'm gonna check it out and show you guys what it's like to be inside a candy shop that's literally over 200 years old. So let's go. Okay, so I'm gonna be a little quiet right now because this candy shop is actually uh, within the vicinity of a pretty popular shrine out here. Uh, as you see, there's people around and they're walking and praying. And so I wanna be respectful and be kinda of quiet. <laughs> but I still wanna show this candy shop, so uh, let's walk in there. As you're walking, you can see uh, how cool the shrine is. It's actually pretty, apparently this is actually a pretty popular shrine. I think the shrine is, or um, like each shrine has like a specific purpose, like maybe if you want uh, for health, for job security, for money, uh, for children. And I think this one is for like children or childbirth. So, I mean, if you guys want some children, come over here. Okay, let's go. One thing that I actually absolutely love about the Japanese culture is the fact that you have these shrines that are probably hundreds of years old in the center of these, the center of Tokyo. Uh, so you have this, this feeling of this traditional old way, old style buildings, and right behind me you see these grand, you know, skyscrapers. Uh, so it's just, it's such a cool feeling, you know, to be within this vicinity that you can just step outside of the, the city life just for like a brief moment and feel like you're back in like Edo period Japan. So anyways, it's a great day. Uh, the candy shop's over here. So here we go. Okay, I'm right in front of the uh, 200 year old plus uh, candy store. Again, this thing has been, this, this shop has been standing uh, relatively around the same age as America. Uh, it's been standing since the 1700s, I guess, 1800s. Um, so it's kind of so, so weird just to be like, right here, this wood, everything. It's been around forever. <laughs> um, but, uh, let's go in and get some candy. Milky. Just my charcoal balls. These are really famous all around Japan. Of course, some pocket. Two, 240. 240. Two, oh, two, 240 years old. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. This. Kono is yeah. uh, no change. Yeah. Oh my god. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. 
Alright, so first, uh, these milky uh, snacks, or milky, I think it's candy. Actually, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. I always see this, this uh, image all around Japan, and I've never been inside one of these shops, and I've never had this kind of candy or food, so this is actually my first time trying this. I actually have no idea what to expect. This is a little white something. Let's give it a shot. This is like a hard candy. What is this? Just have like a milky taste. Look out. Like a hard candy, but milky, but sweet, like a sweet cream milk. Hard candy? It's not bad. But definitely, definitely I think kids would like this. For adults, yeah, I mean it's it's nice, but not something I would crave. But yeah, good for kids, definitely. All right, next, choco balls, and that's right. It says choco ball. Mm. I feel like I'm gonna like these a lot more because I like chocolate. Oh, those are peanuts. Peanuts, so those talk about peanuts. Oh, nice. I like peanuts and I like chocolate. This candy is hard as crap. Another thing about Japan, you don't find trash cans anywhere in the city, especially around shrines or a place like this. Japan does not believe having trash cans around the city is good. Yet the cities are super clean. It's because everyone takes responsibility for their own trash. So if you have trash like this, you carry it. You either carry it in a bag until you get home and you throw it away, or you carry it in a bag and then throw it away at a kind of convenience store where they have trash cans. But you will not find actual trash cans around the city at all. Handle here. All right, let's here you go. Chocolate peanut butter rolls. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, I can get behind this any day. Thank you. Just little peanuts covered in chocolate. It's like um, like those M Ms, peanut M Ms. It tastes almost exactly like peanut M Ms. I love peanut M Ms. No. Hmm. I could probably finish this whole box in just a second, but we're not right now. Hmm. Chocolate balls, the best. Pocky, pocky. This is one of the most famous snacks around the world from Japan. And this is a, I guess, a special strawberry one. Ooh, those looking good. Let's open this up. Hmm. 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 This tastes. <laughs> this tastes kind of like a strawberry pop tart. Anyways, that was the snacks. That shop has been standing for over 240 years, which is insane to think about that building being around before the Civil War, before any of that went down. 
like the founding of my country. Like, it's so cool to see that you still have that here in the center of Tokyo when you have all these new uh, buildings, these skyscrapers, these mansions, everything around us. And in the center, we have a 240 year old building. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed that. Uh, there's a lot of cool things around here in Tokyo like this. Uh, if you guys want to see more, please let me know in the comments below. If you like the video, please give me a like. And uh, I just hope you guys have a fantastic day or night wherever you are. As always, peace.